Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I'm here to check out two more car pass cars. So the Maverick X RS Turbo R and the Stelvio Quadrifoglio or Quadrifoglio, uh, which is quite an interesting car to have on here. I'm looking forward to these two, particularly the VX220. Anyway, for now, we'll start with that because it's less interesting, then move on to the Stelvio. This car will be released on the 9th. Hmm. That's funny, I've seen people drive it. And it is the 9th. Let's try this one. Okay, released on the 9th. One second. It does this all the time. It did this last time. You have to turn the game off to be able to get into this. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, that looks more promising. It's actually come up with Car Pass this week. So you can't... Welcome back, Josh. You can't resume game, you have to you have to have quit the game and relaunched it after they release, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, but we're back in winter season. Uh, so we'll get this first. And then the Stelvio, which is very exciting with its six and effectively Ferrari engine. Colours. Black bronze, silver, that actually looks quite cool with the red frame, we'll go with that. No, this will be quite fun, this vehicle just blasts straight across the map in it. Uh, might use it to find the winter barn find actually, which I've still not done. Uh, missed that four weeks ago when winter was last here. Really, those are the doors. There's no point in them even opening, you can just climb over them. Oh well, let's take it out and see what it's like. <laughs> Funny little noise it's made. Does only have one gift? Surely it has more than one gear. Hang on. I'm gonna have to try a normal car to see if the gears have just broken. I think it just has one gear. It would be weird if it only had one gear. But... Yeah, the gears on that work. Back to the... Oh god, I can't remember what it was even... Ah, oh, there it is. Maverick, that's what it is. And let's load it back up again. Actually, it'll be interesting. I'll have a quick look at the map to see if... The winter barn find rear... Yeah, it does. It reappears as soon as it's winter. Okay. Yes, this has one gear and can only do... Actually, it can go surprisingly fast for a vehicle with one gear. If it only has one... That's a solid wall. If it only has one gear, why doesn't it just say drive? Instead of one. So it made me think the controls are broken. This is a very weird machine. Oh, I won't spend too long driving this, we're going to get in the Stelvio in a minute. Sheep! I thought that was a solid tree for a minute. Where's the house? The house is this way. We'll quickly see what modifications and stuff we can do to this. But what a new gearbox would be nice. 
actually has some gears. So that noise is just... It's annoying. Right, let's go and get in a proper car. Home. All right, what can we do? No, not that. I wanted to go on conversion. There we go. Turbo rally engine. That would be better. Rear wheel drive. Is it four wheel drive? What? <laughs> that's just silly. Ooh, that's quite cool. I'm actually going to put that on. Let's put a gearbox on. I'm going to see what that's like. Change the transmission and put a spare wheel on the back. That's it. I'll just see if that works, then we'll get in the stub view because that's what's really exciting in this pair of cars. There's always one really good car and one that's a bit meh. Or a bit random. There we go. We now have gears. Slower accelerating. I think it'll have a higher top speed, maybe. Or at least it doesn't make quite such an annoying noise. Alright, let's go back to the house again. Come on. Another force bomb thing completed. Actually, what is what is the force thumb? Own and drive any sports utility vehicle. Earn ten bin man skills. Win three cross country events. Oh, it's worth it because look what we can get. Um, five, five points away. I need that. That's quite nice actually. But I think you can buy that in the auto show. That Nismo Forza edition is what we want. Five more Forza Thumb points. So all I have to do is earn three stars from speed traps. We'll try that in the Stelvio, and then I can get a Nismo. LM Forza Edition. <laughs> that glitched through the fence a little bit. Right, let's. Oops. Let's get in the still view. Not my cars. Car parts. Oh, no. I know. I wasn't clicking on that, was I? Stelvio. We want Stelvio. Look at that. Ooh. Kind of tempted to go for something that's not red because. That'll look quite nice in the snow, but I think we might go for that. Let's go for blue. Be different, everyone will have driven a red one. And blue looks nice in the snow. OK. 
at that. Right, let's have a quick look at what is available. Some V8s. Well, it's basically a V8 with two cylinders chopped off at the moment. You can make it rear-wheel drive, okay. Why not? What can we do here? Okay, standard falls a bit. Yeah, standard falls a bit. Let's leave that alone. Ooh. Hang on, we might want some snow tyres. Let's put some... Oh, you can do track width. Let's do that. Yes. Nice chunky snow tyres on it. Actually, I'm surprised there's not like the off-road kits like you get from the Bentayga and the Range Rover on this. That track width is a bit ridiculous. I might have to narrow those a bit in a minute. Alright, anyway, let's go and find some speed traps. Three stars overall, so I can do three one star traps, that's fine. And we've got enough for the Nismo. Does sound good, this. Yeah, that, that track width is a bit ridiculous. Look at them. Look at them sticking out like that. That is mad. Oh, hang on. Rugged good looks completed. Which one was that? Oh, because I'm in a sports utility vehicle. Okay, but that doesn't get you anything until you knock over some bins win three races and trade paint. I think the speed traps is easier. I will eventually complete the rest of those, probably using this car. But... Now I think although this is four wheel drive, it does have quite a rear wheel drive bias, the one in real life. So it should still slide them out a little bit. Maybe not with those grippy snow tyres. Trying to flat out around here. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> Welcome to Edinburgh. Thank you. That's not a speed trap. That's a speed zone. What car though? Grips. Yards, you will arrive at your destination. Got a lovely noise to it. It doesn't look too bad either. Right, it's gonna be hard to get any kind of stars through. That kind of run-up. We'll go this way and try and get more of a run-up. This shouldn't be too bad, speed-wise. I mean, it's fast for an SUV, but it's fast for anything. I have to take this through the tunnels. It's not going to be Lamborghini loud. It would be a nice noise. Alright, come on, Stelvio. It's got to be some kind of. Oh, there we go. Okay. They have a fence panel. Oh. It's gone. Right, the 
there's a fast travel board around here that I haven't got yet. But I've got all the ones that I've found. Where is it? I mean, you can't go through that. On we go. Right, where's that tunnel? They're down here somewhere, so if we do a cheeky fast travel here. Blast it through those tunnels. And then we'll go and collect our Nismo. What is he doing? Who turns around in a tunnel? Well, I'm going to do an illegal turn around here, but it's not turning around within the carriageway when there's a Stelvio flying up behind me. One more go, and we'll get the Nissan. Let's get this Nismo. Saved up loads of Force of Thumb points from last week because there wasn't anything interesting then. Right, we've got it. We'll take it for a quick drive, but won't spend too long on it because we're supposed to be looking at the Stelvia uh, this episode. I might use the Stelvio to hunt for the barn find actually. It's, uh, it's a good off-road vehicle. Well, it's an off-road vehicle. Where have you gone? Ah, there it is. Yeah, see, we've got that one. But now we've got the Forza one. Although I really want to take that horrible spoiler off it. We'll do that in a minute. I'll just take it through the tunnel. Oh wow, so much faster than the normal one. <laughs> this car's mad. Oh wow, it's got more downforce than the Senna. Well, I'm not really surprised, it's an actual racing car. Oh, fence. It's got quite a lot of understeer as well. Right, 
I know what it's, uh, it's been engine swapped, hasn't it? That's why it sounds good. Let's fast travel to a house. And see what they've actually done to this, because... I want to get rid of that Forza spoiler, at least. It looks hideous. Right, what can we do with this? Nope. Upgrades. Custom upgrade. Conversion. Stock. VA. Yeah, stock is... They've put something weird in it. Not drivetrain. Stock all-wheel drive. Surely it was all-wheel drive with stock. Right, can we get rid of these bits? Those ones aren't too bad, but I, I don't want them. Much better, although the livery doesn't quite fit it, but much nicer. I know I've made it worse, but it looks better, so that's the main thing. Much better. Still not quite sure about the sound of the engine, but... Anyway, we should get back to the Stelvio, which is why we're here. It's a very, very nice car. You know, I still prefer something like uh, the Jaguar F-Pace, probably, but... This definitely sounds better. Look at it with its big sticky out tires. What's it like off-roading? Oh yes. I'm going straight for that. Is that a new danger sign I haven't done? Oh, it's supposed to do it from that way, okay. Why have they put a danger sign there so late in the game? Oh, it's a bin there, I should have locked it over to get my bin knocking over challenge done. I'm probably taking too much of a run up here. Perfect thumbnail. There it is. Oh. In seventh gear for it. There we go. the camera slow come on oh that's weird because the car had just gone into slow motion which apparently means the camera goes in slow motion as well that is weird it 
is annoying as well. I think around this side of the car where we've got some more light. Come on camera. Flying Stelvio looks like. Ah, let's not do that. Let's land the jump. What? Ah, it kept lifting up into the air, I didn't know what was going on. That's the Alfa Romeo Stelvio and the other thing that came with the car parts. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely car. Very pleased they've added it, although I am looking forward to the, the X220. I'll definitely do a video on that. As well as a Winter Farm Find video, which we'll probably do using this car to find it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back with lots more Horizon 4. Thank you.